Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more FTL, Faster Than Light, Advanced Edition Hard Mode. Last time we had what I would call a valiant but unfortunate run with the Zoltan Sea where things got to Sector 6 but eventually we just got outclassed. And you know what, I realized today while I'm looking over my shift list that we have not actually played a game with the Slug B yet on hard. At least not for this revive series, so that's what we're going to do today, we're going to see if we can get things going, if possible, we can try and unlock the Slug C, but the most important thing is just to even survive here. So we're just going to call this, the instead of the Stormwalker, we'll call this the Survivalist, which I may or may not have spelled correctly. Now, the Slug B holds a special place in my heart from a challenge that I did on uh, Vanilla Faster Than Light, where I went without a medbay the whole time. One of my favorite runs. The audio quality is not great, but if you look on my channel, you'll see if you search under slug z challenge but we're not doing that today we're just going to do straight up the slug b run to try and see how it goes here this ship is interesting because it comes with a transporter and a heal bomb and an artemis missile and slug repair gel and not much else notice that you get you your only source of healing is the healing burst bomb so one of the first things you might want to do is get a med bay or a clone bay or something bay i'm very interested to see how the ship does on hard so i've done enough pratting and talking let's jump in now this run may not go particularly well anyway, especially when we start with a store. We are on hard difficulty. Okay. We don't really need the transporter right now. Guess we're only going to have the Artemis missile, but we're going to go to the distress beacon first, which is uh, connected to the store. Not really a lot to go to the store for. I could use a slug repair job, but with no med bay, it's actually pretty important to be able to repair hull breaches on our own. So we get nine scrap just for a quest that for a place that we're going to be going to. We're going to skip that store. Because jump one stores in a hard mode have nothing for you. So we're never going to surrender to slavers. Are they actually going to board us right now? Yes. Okay. That is indeed a thing you can do. So let's go ahead and just... Uh, well, it's possible that I'm getting going to get hit anyway. So let's see what we can do about getting the weapons now. That would be lovely. There we go. Ooh. As long as we do not get beamed, we are okay. Now in hard mode, the, the doors have a lot less actual shield breaking. But unfortunately, you see here, one of the issues I have is that my only means of doing damage to this ship is in fact blowing it up with a missile. So they're trying to run away, they're not going to be able to. As long as you don't keep repairing that, we'll be okay. So see, four missiles right there down the hatch. So we've... Whoa, buddy. Oh, uh, no. No, no, no. No. We're not moving everybody. And then we're just making you run down. Door shut. Oxygen on, and we've already hurt one of our slugs. Look at that. Right away, Graffin is down on health because I wasn't paying attention. He's like, blah, blah, blah. Let's go back. Yeah, two stores this early. There are things I could potentially do with 30 scrap. So we may be coming back to the next second. Depends on if we can get a good fight here. Let's defend the outpost and ravine. This is cloaking, which is pretty terrible. I could have possibly boarded with my guys and then bombed them, but and I just got a hundred and fifty hits. And I got hit weapons. Alright, terrible fight. We're getting out of here. And that's an Artemis missile to boot. Oh, we're not getting out of here. Everybody can just get on the repair train now, as we are getting 100% hit rates. Don't know why the Artemis isn't charging. Well, I know why the Artemis isn't charging, I just don't know why it's not powered. Alright, so we need to not die from missiles right away. That's good. 10% evade. Better than 0% evade. So you might be able to take this thing out, but not with missiles like save our missiles, because the next time we fire missiles, it's going to cycle through the floor. Right on cue. So hopefully we can get out of here before the next missile fires, if we're not going to. Oh! Well, damn. Okay. Well, for if you're forcing us to stick around for a bit, we might as well see what we can take out. Alright, so I'm a little concerned about firing into the cloak. Alright. When we 
only have one missile. Alright, so our guys are already hurt. I have a solution for that. It's called a bad bomb. Yes, there we go. Fortunately, it's Artemis missile, so it is two damage per shot. We just got that. Yes. And last one, there we go. So you force a fight, and we are at half health. But we got a Zoltan bypass, which is something we will. We could actually use because we have a transporter, but we'll probably just sell it. So 56 scrap. We got a 50-50 on a decent store here. There we go. Everybody get happy. Let's see. Probably better to go this way. Even though this isn't bad. So eeny, meeny, miny, let's go to the top store. We want to hit that quest mark though. And what do they got? Oh, you have no weapons, do you? Oh, you do have a flak too. Yeesh. That is not really the weapon I want early here. So I can't even use it. It's a 21 second charge. I just can't do that to myself. I really can't. I could get a backup DNA bank. Could go ahead and buy a med. I feel like there's more important upgrades to do earlier. So I think we'll keep all of this for now. Oh man, if we hit that... Oh, we should have gone to this store first. What was I thinking? Because we could have possibly hit both if we had gutted it out on one store. And I'm glad we didn't get a repair because this is a more, way more efficient repair. As much as it hurts to lose all that scrap that we gained, it's better than to skip the store all the way. Alright, so explore the asteroid field and here's a pirate. Not, well, one hand we don't need the heal missile, and the other hand we kind of don't have much else to do with power right now. So hopefully we don't get lasered out of the sky. Oh, look, we have, we're floating one power. They have no med bay, but they have a mantis, and we don't have a live way to heal people. Oh god, the shield's down. That's bad. Did I remind you we're in an asteroid field right now? So their weapons are gone. So I should just be able to arm this. This in a second. More important that I get the plasma shot off first. Alright. And the three fuel, nine scrap. I'm gonna attempt to not accept scrap. I think my doors are on fire. Which is probably a worst case scenario. just micromanage my way out of the heal bomb. Did I actually lose the bomb too? Ooh, that's bad. Terrible, terrible misplay here. Fortunately, a swing of this in there. Alright. That was exciting. I guess. Yeah, I mean, what else can you say? I actually had the heal bomb going off. The problem was that it was, uh, I heard a little beady beady beady, beady but you gotta wait for it to actually appear before you uh, cancel it. So right now the asteroids are not gonna be able to take out my ship. I did a pretty good job of taking out my own ship. I mean, and this is part of the really big end of debate here. Do I heal my crew now? I think one missile for this healer is more important. Field, so we can sit and talk a little bit about my mistakes from before. Pretty much by not going to that first store, I did get myself a pretty early repair. But what you really want to do is to spend your repair or spend your scrap on things that are out of repair. And while I could have potentially, that was uh, while I could have potentially gotten a flag three, I would not have been able to get those things. So where are you connected? You're connected to different places. Let's hit the quest mark. That may be the most help. 
That's pretty good. We can probably just jump here and make our way all the way back. 71 scrap. Like I said, we're not doing... Uh, send our waypart to investigate. 85 cryptic signal and then our shot off before leaving. Okay. So things happen at the event. And not much else to it. Let's, uh, we don't need to delay you guys at all. I'm a little concerned about your heavy laser. So we'll try and take that off first. Well, I guess I should be more concerned about the fireball. So I've done a few things wrong this one. Uh, anytime you can get the equipment like that, it's good. I did really like the beam drone in that Zoltan C run I had previously. That worked out very well. The one issue, of course, is that it's still... It's one, it was one of those runs where I was just so behind all the time. That I was, ne uh, I was never able to really make it out of a quagmire. This is going to be a really tough fight. Not... Well, okay, my transporter's down, so that may make this a little bit simpler. This is going to take a lot of missiles. And as much as I want to attack the drone room with this, I've got to attack the weapons first, because those lasers are too dangerous. Okay, drone... Oh, did not need that missile in drone control. See, the thing with taking out the drone control is that it will stop the repair. Repair drone's gonna come back over here. We're gonna get all their stuff up in time. Hopefully, I can take out the drones this time. So, that did stop the repair drone. We know that because it didn't run back. There's probably an anti personnel drone in there as well. Wow, this is, this is so many missiles that I'm losing right now. I guess I could have I don't have a lot of fights left. That's the thing. That's why it's very... Oh, God. Please hit. Thank you. Uh, that's why it's so important. So very, very important. Okay, good. We got good scrap. We've had a decent sector one. The one thing I really wanted out of it was a weapon that we have not gotten. And our missile drone is really going to be an issue. If we have to start boarding, we're going to need a clone bay, or we're going to need something. Question is, I guess the question becomes, do I go ahead and upgrade my ship? Survivability is going to be key. Alright, so I can jump here, jump here, and hit the wings on the weapons. So let's see if we can get some extra scrap. Unfortunately, did not wait for this. The recharge of manually search the wreck, and we need to take the risk. We took horrible damage. But I think the missiles was great. And our sub crew job was nice. Probably go here, here, and immediate, actually. Because this is cool and ready. So we have prepare for a fight. And we do have one. We do have one of these. Fortunately, the Artemis missile is very efficient in how it hits. I just gotta hope my weapons don't get hit. Alright, so how's our air situation? We're not here. Gotta get hits. Let's do it. We gotta not get hacked. Well, I guess we got hacked in the pilot which I guess doesn't matter very much. As long as they they can't repair this is four missiles. It's big damage on its own, so hack it down. Unfortunately, I'm killing my weapon first because I'm looking at too many things at once and not paying attention to it. I knew that was coming up and I still would have had it. So. Ugh, a little bit a little bit clumsy on this run. Definitely not bringing my hand right now. Sorry for the disappointment. But we should be able to squeeze in a few extra jumps. Oh god, intruders. Okay. 
nice thing about mushrooms is that they will probably just die before they can get anywhere meaningful. As long as they don't take out my air. No, they're not going to take out my air. Alright, you guys really want to go this way? We'll try and hide you in here. We'll try and hide you in here. See, they should be dead soon. Oh, took some unnecessary damage there. Okay, where, where are you running now? You really, okay, so I'm forcing them into the rooms that have air over here, so that still works. And now they want to go screw me and blow our control, that's fine. They should die before they get those doors taken out. There they go. One, two, three. The reason I can see those little outlines, and it didn't used to be that way, is uh, because of the slugginess and psychic Alright, so lots of extra jumps before the exits. Not a ton to show for it. We'll attack the automated ship because we need the scrap. And we can probably do this pretty well. It's assuming that as a single laser shot, the ship may not even be able to hurt me. There we go. So two more shots for the win. Too bad it's not a whole missile that I'm firing. But we only are going to have six missiles after this is over, barring some kind of recovery. So sector one with the slug A is not exactly the issue. It's the sectors beyond. So four missiles, we actually netted out there just fine. So Zoltan control or civilian? Well, civilian still leaves the possibility of us getting the uh, crystal unlock, which wouldn't that be hilarious on the ship? Stress beacons yet. We, what we really want to store are some keys. Ooh. I do not know if I can take this fight. That is a lot of health on that ship. Okay, so we took that down. That's good. It's getting, getting a little nervous. I'm saving. I'm trying to pull my scrap for a good weapon. That's all I want for Christmas. Sell the heal bomb, which is very risky. Actually, I can't really afford to sell the heal bomb until I come up with something a little better. That's a hull breach right there. So that's good. Engines only with two power too. That's great. Problem is that I do not have like even. So that's six missiles at this point. Oh, that math didn't add up very well. We got a lot of fuel. There's a store. I know the store is like tucked off in a corner, but we have to. We have to. Please have a good weapon. This is where RNG is going to come into play. Shit. The game really wants me to have a flak too. I, you know, we don't have a choice. I guess we do have a choice in that we could try and put them away with a beam drone or something. Look, another heal. Seat fire, fire beam would be fun. All these things would be fun if only I had a way to uh, start the damage here. So we're going to sell you. We are going to sell the Zoltan Bypass as nice as that can be. Um, we're going to buy Black 2. We've got to get a few of here. And we've got to upgrade our weapons and our reactor. Okay, guys. Anytime we want to fight now, we have to sit and wait a really long time. We'd still have a transporter, which is good, and hopefully we can play that forward later. But this is the uh, only thing we got. Might as well see what the uh, other situation is over here. So aid the Federation ship. We're going to have to sit and take a lot of shots. No med bay, and they're right over the control. Bastards. Turn off the air. I mean, who needs to breathe on this ship? Now the Flak 2 fires 7 shots. Is this guy 
So Flak 2, like I said, Flak 2 is good. You gotta support him. I guess it's not the worst thing. To do. Oh, he actually treats me back. Well, here comes the flak again. Because we're going to have... We're going to be in for some long fights this way. This is technically the best place to fire the flak. It's right here. Because as you saw, any of those little red pips that appear on the outside, they don't actually land. Flak cannon, that's something that was going to be no, 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 Why do they always run that way? This happens every time. Cannot shift quick for this. This should actually kill the ship. Means we can just go right through. Good. So, one missile, contact the Federation ship, and wow, okay. Ship looks on the verge of destruction, single uh, life signs fade away. Use a healing bomb to keep them alive, but the ship is on the verge of destruction. Lock on the remaining life signatures and beams them to your ship. So we're going to do that, and we got GM Fox, the combat guy, who's immediately going to get the combat right here. It's like, if the ship's about to explode, why are we going to shoot it? For a clone bay on this ship, just I don't know why. But overall, we're not being caught by the Federation or the Rebel pursuit, so that is a positive. We have 41 scrap. It's probably a good idea to get one more reactor power here. And Flak 2 is very powerful, you just have to survive to use it. So, what do you have here? You have missiles. I don't really like missiles, and I like your 3 4. Except the ride. Can't win every time, guys. Can't can't take every single fight. So we're gonna accept this and we get a quest marker. So we got two quests. Let's uh let's put those quests to the test, I guess. Alright, so nothing. We should have time to do all these. In fact, we may have time to do that. So we're just gonna go circle around and exit. Because you know us, when we're evading the re rebellion fleet. We've got to uh, do you know, the most meandering path possible. Command, give me your goods. Show me your goods. You guys are not actually transferring. Hopefully, I can take out their engines. We're probably only get, going to get one flag shot. So, I may need to switch between the uh, This is actually very susceptible to happening to this if I don't have that. So, I'm probably going to switch to the arm just to make sure that it's not. See, we have five missiles now. This is where we use missiles strategically. Right in the shields, which sucks a little bit. Once again, we are stopping the pursuit. We actually had somebody pop up through the phone there. I assume that's because it was repaired. Okay, we're starting to get into some serious damage, but they're not attacking the weapons, so I will accept that. As a gift, there's going to be one more missile shot as our flag goes in, so hopefully we'll get a dodge. Alright, so that's a lot of damage for 14 scrap. And the ship's map, which gives us... Well, we have a store. Maybe we can make good on that store. We'll probably need better repairs. Still think the slug repair drill is important, but it's, if, I flip, if I need to flip it to a clone bay, I guess now's the time. So reactor bomb 1 is good. Can I hit the store and get to the exit? I don't know for sure. Oh, wow! A hidden Federation space dock, and they repair us in full, so now the store is not really as important. Which is fine, we're just gonna skip it. We have a flak too, guys. I don't know what to make of it, but we have one. So we're not gonna go to the store, we're gonna hit the exits. And we got an anti-ship fire drone as well, so no... Uh, 
damage stasis pod. This is a horrible ship for the zero power that we saw that's here already in this control. Even though that means we'll have to deal with boarding parties a bit. As you've seen, uh, despite some uh, quibbles with the AI, and this is, let's go ahead and get a team repair. Oh boy. Uh, as we do have some issues with like pathing for, hey, I'm going to go through the place with no air instead of going through the place with air. Uh, otherwise, we're doing okay. I mean, this may actually not be necessary, but we, since we're going to be primarily using our flak for damage here, we can afford to party up and heal up here and hopefully sell the medical thing for something a little bit better. So there's a distress beacon right away. Our exit's all the way over here, but it should be reasonable to get to the exits. So we probably will stop here. Uh, destroy and loot the ship. They're just pilots. We're trying to slide into the box. So we've got a little bit of hull damage, but that's not scrap. Nobody's happy, nobody wins. Here comes the Mantis. Transport. Do I go for it? Oh man, I could totally take out that NG. I think that's a little bit of a big deal. Alright, so get you out of here. Oops, put you in the I really need to have the flag beam for that. I really should have waited for my uh, shields to repair. In fact, we're going to put you in the shield repair first. Because that is a two shot laser, as those of you watch this game probably know. So the crew we want to get out is no! Oh, and we're right in the weapon. So misplay into misplay. Into a system bomb. Alright, fortunately we may not be too worse for wear for it. Okay, so he's gonna stop to try and poke a little bit. Okay, we're just gonna go back to black. All right. So hopefully we don't get bombed hard, like just like that. Okay. All hands on here. So look at that one little misplay, and uh, suddenly you're in some serious shit. Things were going really, really well. And now you're bringing the little NG in here. Are you serious? We well, don't have a med bay. Right. We gotta hope for not a second fire here. Ugh. Well, at least that fire will go out. The unfortunate thing is now we gotta deal with uh, shields over here. So like I said, very susceptible to uh, stuff exploding here. And now that I can't actually control the doors, of course I have to deal with this appropriately, I hope. Okay, good mess. And I really want to take out the firebomb. Alright, that was not the firebomb. GM Fox is not dead. As long as we don't get firebombed, we're going to be okay. We got firebombed here. No worries. Okay, weapons offline. Good news, everybody. You are not dead yet. Alright, so I guess we're not actually going to be doing the heal until we can make sure this is gone. Really a uh, terrible way to end this because I didn't realize when I took the uh, two hull damage that it went straight to my shields. Uh, this all could have been avoided, is what I'm trying to say. But alas, I guess that's why some people like to watch me, is because my former username, Way to Fail, would fit very well for things that I was like, hey, look, you idiot, you should have done that. And now we get to deal with one of my least favorite things in this game, but I mean, something that's going to be pretty important to deal with, which is the actual how do you do a repair like this when you have no med bay? And the answer is going to be just to send two the suicide squad down there. And uh, they're not going to die, I hope. I mean, technically they shouldn't. Oh god, they might. 
Okay, this is what I need to do. Because right now their their health is going down really far. And that door repair is not happening fast enough. I don't have to use two more missiles for this. It's great. See, I couldn't have could not have done that worse. See here's oh what? Okay, Will, get in here. You get in here. Foxy, get in here. Alright, now that my heal bomb is full, all we're gonna do is just send you guys into repair. We will heal bomb you midway through. Hopefully the heal bomb doesn't suddenly decide it needs to miss. So time it just right. There we go. Door shut. And we'll do one more heal bomb here. That leaves us with one left. But, you know... I guess it sets up pretty well for the next episode. If we don't have a lot of missiles, because I keep having to use them to heal, then we can... I would get a uh, med bay of some sort. I mean, my long-term strategy usually doesn't involve using the Artemis. So we'll just repair that as well. But that's it for now. This is Asher. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. We're floating on a hundred scrap in the middle of the maze control sector. I don't know how this run's going to go, but I am very pleased that it made it through the first episode. So thanks for watching. Feel free to uh, put your thoughts in the comments. Definitely some criticisms we made about my play thus far. But hey, it's all in good fun, I hope, maybe. Uh, if you got anything that you want to see in terms of ships in the future, let me know. Like I said, this is uh, one that I have not i have not actually run the Slug B yet on hard mode, actually, now that I think about it. So, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.